Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about how to use EC2 instance connect to connect to your EC2 instances with no public IP addresses. Okay, so first thing what we'll do is we'll create an EC2 instance. Let's create an Linux EC2 instance. Let's call it as web server. And let's say we'll create Amazon Linux 2. Select the ski pair. I'll create a new security group for this demo, and I'll also make sure that there is no public IP assigned to this machine. Let's call this uh, security group as uh, instance instance connect demo. Okay, so I won't add any security group rules inside this as of now, and I'll create this EC2 instance. Now, once the EC2 instance is created, you need to associate an IAM role to this EC2 instance. Okay, so the IAM role should have a permission to talk to EC2 instance connect service or EC2 instance connect endpoints. I'll create a new IAM role for EC2 with instance connect related permission. So this is a permission I will select, but you can simply append it to your existing, uh, append this permission to your existing IAM role. But uh, for this demo, I'll create a new IAM role with the instance connect permission. Okay, so once this role is created, you will associate this role or attach this role to your EC2 instance. Okay, now one more thing you need to make sure is that the security group should have the instance connect IP whitelisted. So EC2 instance connect as IP ranges for different different regions. You can find it in this GitHub repository, or you'll find a lot of references for this. So if you so my EC2 instance is in US East one, so this is the IP range for instance connect service in US East one. So I'll add this IP range. So let's do it for all traffic for now, or you can do it for SFH and RDP also. Again, I'll save this rule. Okay, so your EC2 instance is ready with the necessary prerequisite. Now, next we will create the instance connect endpoint service by going to VPC and going to endpoint and clicking on create endpoint. Okay, so I'll create, I'll call this as default VPC endpoint, default VPC instance connect endpoint and here you need to select ec2 EC instance connect endpoint and you will associate it with the default vpc or whichever vpc you want and security group i will select the security group where my ec2 instance is created and submit to deploy this instance connect service i will use this one okay. and i will create this endpoint service now it can take few minutes to get created. Let's get back once this instance connect endpoint is created. So once your instance connect endpoint is ready, you can go to the EC2 instance page and you can simply say connect. And by the way, this EC2 instance doesn't have any uh, public IP address. There's no public IP address. So we can say connect over here. And we need to select this option. So it, by default, if you're using the instance connect option, it will give you an error. This machine doesn't have a public IP address. You cannot connect. But if you select this option and you select your endpoint service which you have created, and if you click on connect, you'd be able to connect to your EC2 instance. Let me try one more time.
Okay, so probably the one thing which is missing is inside the security group to allow the internal traffic. We allow traffic from the instance and type here, this, but within the security group, the traffic should be allowed internal traffic. Let's allow that as well. Okay, once this is done, let's try to connect again. And we are connected to the EC2 instance. All right. So this is how you can connect to your EC2 instance without public IP address using instance connect endpoint service. Now, if you don't want to use browser based uh, login, you want to use some SSH based tools like Putty or uh, let's say you are using some uh, SSH shell in Mac or Ubuntu or any Linux machine, then you would need to run this command, okay, which is uh, AWS EC2 instance connect open terminal followed by the instance ID and the local port number. This could be anything. Okay. Okay, and then you would need to open a new window and you would you can connect to your EC2 instance. Okay. So it doesn't attach tunneling to your EC2 instance. And for Windows, you would need to do RDP, right? And for RDP again, you would need to run the same command. Okay, and then you need to open the RDP file. Okay, and inside the RDP file, you would need to put local host followed by the port number which you are defining over here. And then you can put the admin user ID and password, and you should be able to connect to your Windows machine as well. Okay. So this is it for this video. Thank you for watching.